Hey, the beauty dish is one of my most favorite modifiers to use when I'm out taking pictures and I just did a review on the AD200 Pro. I'm gonna do a review on the beauty dish for the AD200 Pro and it's going to start right now. Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour. I own a photography studio in Sacramento, California, and I do a lot of shooting with strobes. Last week I did a review on the Godox AD200 Pro, and if you haven't seen that, you can go right over here and check it out. One of the things I didn't have when I did that review is the beauty dish for this Godox. This is the Godox beauty dish, and I'm gonna show you some pictures about what it can, can't do, and explain to you why I like it as a modifier when I'm out shooting with the AD200 Pro. Beauty dish comes in this fancy dancy little cardboard box from Amazon. Inside, you get a 12 inch beauty dish with the silver reflection inside. You get a grid. This will probably drive the camera nuts. You get a sock that goes on the outside. Use it as a shower cap when you're traveling, whatever you want to do. The grid snaps on the outside of the beauty dish, which works really well. And actually, unlike other grids I've used, which go on the inside and then have tension pushing out, this actually snaps to the outside, which I really like. And it's, you know, pretty high quality. I don't know what this honeycomb grid is. It's probably a 30 degree from the looks of it. That's what comes in the box. So how does this work? This is pretty simple. It's got these little slots here and then those slots lock. So I've got my flash tube in there. Slide that down the flash tube and you can see it sits really well. And then I've got myself a beauty dish. If I wanna turn this into a little bit softer, I can put this diffusion sock over the top. Now, let's say you're shooting in a tight space and you really need to control the light. That's where this grid comes in handy. 30 degree, I think it's a 30 degree grid. The light is only gonna go where this is pointed. Okay, let's talk about the quality of this dish. First of all, when I ordered it, I expected that I was going to get kind of a shady, sort of not so high quality piece. And other than this being rigid, the 12 inches is fine. This is nice metal. The silver lining inside has a nice kind of finish to it. So it's got that, um, it's not a ball ping, but it's sort of a textured finish. And then the bulb, you can't see it, but the bulb comes through in a perfect spot right there so that it exposes the whole dish evenly. Back of the dish has nice flat matte painting on it. And overall, the thing's really solid. Actually, it's on par with the Paul C. Buff beauty dish that I have there. It's just a different size. So what is a beauty dish? A beauty dish is something that you're gonna use typically for portraits. And the reason why people like it is because it creates really defined shadows in a face, especially when the beauty dish is put over the top like this. It also has a very fast fall off for the light. So nice wherever it's focused and a quick fall off. Beauty dishes come in all sizes. This one happens to be 12 inches. This one right here from Faux Ticks, which I don't really like this one, but it's a fold up one that you can bring with you. This one's the Paul C. Buff, and I think it's 22 inches. This is another fold up one, which I actually go to quite a bit. I like this, the way this one looks. This is gonna be used in the examples that you'll see in the video here later on. And this is the Cheetah 26 inch, and I, I, they call it a rice bowl, or they call it a squashy bowl, or it's called a bowl of some kind. This is really high quality, folds up really nice. And then I've got a 36 inch beauty dish soft box being used here for the light in the video. If you're interested in seeing a review on some of the other beauty dishes that I have, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to put something like that together. So some people would say, oh, a 12 inch beauty dish, that's just a fancy reflector. That's not actually a beauty dish. That's not actually true. 12 inches just means that I'm gonna move this closer to my model to get exactly the same look as I would if I were using this big 26 inch beauty dish. And yes, they're different sizes, but one can be put further away from the model and essentially act as the same kind of light source and one needs to be put closer. I'm gonna give you an example right now. Here's the 12 inch, right? Take a look at the size of the 12 inch right there and take a look at the size of the 26 inch that is now 
two feet behind the 12 inch. They're exactly the same, right? Or very close. That's the main difference between the two. I can get this 26 inch off of my model just a little bit more. Whereas if I want the same effect with this 12 inch, I've got to put it a little bit closer. My rule of thumb that I follow when I'm shooting beauty dishes is I try to make my modifier the same distance from the model as the width of the modifier. So if I'm using a 26 inch, that gives me roughly about two feet that I can put the, the dish away from the model. If I'm using something as 36 inches, I get 36 inches and so on. So with this 12 inch, you're gonna put this 12 inches away from your model. Now, the other thing I like about this is that it almost serves as a reflector if I'm going to put the sock on it or I'm going to use the grid. I can have a really controlled light source because as I get further away, this is simply just gonna become a reflector. It's not really gonna become a beauty dish anymore. But I do like that because I don't necessarily want to bring my bone mount adapter in order to be able to put a reflector on my AD200 Pro. Okay, for just comparison reasons, we're gonna start out by looking at some pictures that I shot of Emma, who's recently in the studio for a photo shoot using the 26 inch cheetah, I think it's a soup bowl. And you can see that the lighting on her face is very, you know, it's cut down each cheek. It's very nice lighting. Now let's take a look at the picture using the Godox 12 inch beauty dish. I did the same thing, put it on a light stand, brought it in. And this time, instead of being 24 or 28 inches away from her, I was 12 inches away from her, or a little bit, maybe a little bit further, maybe 14, 15 inches, but I'm still a lot tighter to her than I was when I was shooting the 26 inch. There really isn't a lot of difference, and I'd have to say that I didn't take a lot of time to refine this test shot. If I was shooting for real on site, I would have taken a little bit more time to set up the test shot and make sure that everything was perfect. But given that I simply just walked up with a light stand, put the beauty dish over the top of her, turned on the AD200 Pro, and shot the shot, I think this looks really good. Okay, well I hope you found this video helpful. There's not a whole lot more to talk about as far as beauty dishes go. You can take a look at the light yourself and see whether or not it's something that you want to try for your own. If you did get the AD200 Pro, I would highly recommend this because it also serves as a reflector, not only as a beauty dish, but as a quick reflector that you can put on here without having to go to the Bowens mount adapter. Please don't forget to like this video by hitting the like button. Down below, that tells YouTube that other people should see this video. And also, if you wanna follow my channel, you can subscribe. If you wanna get notifications when my next video comes out, just hit that bell notification. And until I see you on the next video, keep it simple, my friend. Woo! Oh, don't throw this at me. <gasps> Hello, mother. 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 Everyone's always told me that I'm hard of hearing. So the beauty dish works great because you look fantastic at the same time that you can hear better. Huh? What? I just say in there, Sonny? Did he just throw that? No. <laughs>